Hi everyone, it's lovely to be with you this evening for our short time of worship. Um, if you're new, you are so welcome to have joined us. And uh, if you're not new, you're so welcome uh, in joining us. And we just hope that these Tuesday evenings are um, helpful to you and help you to connect with God and with one another as we tune in together. Um, so let's pray. And then we'll talk a little about the theme that we are going to use tonight and the songs that we're going to sing. God, thank you that we can come together and um, even though we're not in the same room, we can worship together. And I pray that each one of us would meet with you just now. Thank you that uh, when we come to you, you come to us. Um, that you welcome our presence. That we are loved and cherished by you so we thank you that as we come before your throne you welcome us as a father so please fill us with your spirit as we pray as we read as we sing and come and dwell in our hearts amen so tonight we're going to read a little bit of psalm 90 and um we're using a hymn that is, the, the words of it are from Psalm 90, and uh, we used it in our remembrance services on Sunday, and um, the tune is beautiful, um, it's an old um, Scottish folk song, I believe, um, and it's beautiful. So um, I thought Psalm 90 would be our theme, and we are thinking about God being um, our home throughout every generation, that he's always been there. Uh, unchanging, unfailing and everlasting and that, that is where we find our home because everything else will wither in the end um, so that is where we can place our hope and our comfort and find peace there um, so we're going to sing that and then we'll um, sing The Lord's My Shepherd which is Psalm 23 um, but also talks about God um, guiding us like a shepherd through through our lives um, in everything um, and that we can find joy in that and it, it even says that he anoints our head with oil and our cup can overflow with joy and uh, that's what we can find in God and he promises that to us um, it's there in his word so as we sing let's remind ourselves that um, God is everlasting and unfailing and trustworthy and good and he loves us um, so I will read some of Psalm 90 and then we'll sing. Lord, you have been our dwelling place, our home, throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born or you brought forth the whole world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, return to dust, you mortals. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by or like a watch in the night. Yet you sweep away it, people in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. In the morning it springs up new, but by evening it is dry and withered. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, for as many years as we have seen trouble. May your deeds be shown to your servants, your splendor to their children. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands.
Lord, we can sing aloud for joy because you are good. You are the everlasting God. You know the beginning and the end. You know every day in between. And we we belong to you. You created us. So we offer ourselves back to you in trust and in obedience. And Lord, we pray that this would bring us joy, deep, deep joy and peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. It's been lovely to have you. And um, I'll see you again in a couple of weeks. And Nicola will be back next week. Um, And in the meantime, God bless and take care.